we try to do as much as we can. Uh, and uh, and also the news. Yes. Right. Brian, it was my pleasure or you are starting the shows with uh, Back in Black? Or it was mm. my pleasure in Miami? Oh, that was, uh, it was an idea we thought of when we were rehearsing. Uh, we're just trying to think of an opening song, and we've always thought of opening with the song from the new album. And, okay. Mm, we thought, uh, yeah, we thought, yeah, bugger it. We'll do it all different. <laughs> yeah. All right, so are you doing like a little, I mean, a, a bit different every show just to have more fun in your yeah. case? Because yeah. the, the audience will always have fun. Yeah. 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 yeah, we try to do, a lot of it is, you know, the, the, from when we play, the audience and how they, you know, the response we get back. Back, you know. Sometimes you can see us on stage. We 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 saying what we play next. You know. <laughs> you're really surprised me, guys, with the uh, with the inclusion of a uh, down payment blues. Yes. Is it the first time you're playing that, or is the perfect introduction to the Jack? It's the first time I played that. Well, yeah. for me, for yeah. Brian, yeah. yeah. Great. But, uh, it was great. But you see, we we uh, another night we we changed it mm. to doggy dog. Mm. You know, uh, uh, or we could uh, or, or hell in a bad place to be. Mm. You know. And uh, tonight, who knows? Mm. That will make our mind up. We'll probably sit in the dressing room and go, well, what shall we do? Okay. You know? Vamos a hacer una pausa en Headbangers y ya vamos a estar de vuelta con más A series. Es lo único que tienen que hacer. Ya vienen videos de The Poor. Viene That's the Way I Wanna Rock and Roll y más con A series. Es el video. Headbangers junto a ACDC hace un rato veíamos un video Who Cares del álbum de The Poor Let's talk about The Poor They're your official opening act in the United States What's yeah. the relationship between The Poor They are very ACDC in terms of sound What's yeah. the relationship between you and Well they have uh, I know I saw them in, in Australia uh, in, uh, They were playing at the time They were doing uh, you know, they, they were one of the few bands That, uh, that I saw that, You, you saw people, you didn't see it in the newspaper, you, the people were going to see them just by talking. You know? And for a, for a, uh, a new band, that's, that's always good when you see people talking. And I know that when they went into America the first time and played, people were talking. Same again, they, you know, people in the streets were talking about them. So, yeah. They're good, good rock and roll, man. My wife bought that album before she even knew anything about it, you know. But uh, I think the important thing as well, talking to the kids after the show, a lot of them were coming up and saying that's the best support the best band you've ever had. Mm. And, uh, and I do think you that's have important. Any, mm. any names or any special band that you would like to see as a support act for ACDC? Mm -hmm. I don't need any yeah. mm -hmm. Maybe the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> Not that's a Beatles you <laughs> Was the best? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, if there's any requirements to be filled, it sounds snotty. But I mean, they've got everything going for the moment. Yeah, yeah, like rock and roll. Rock and roll. Mm. What about ACDC now on stage? The stage now for Ball Breaker, it's very intense, it's very effective, but it's, it's a lot more simple than the mm. Race on Stage yeah. tour. Uh, who's in charge of the design, the idea of the stage? Well, we when we were started off, we didn't want to... Um, we, we want to get out there and, and emphasize the, more the fact of the, the songs, what you know, and, And over the years, I think that's what people see in ACDC. You know, they come to see a, a they come to see a band rather than a, a light show or something. They, so that's what what our main thing was. And we we've always been that a band that always said, well, if you took away the lights and you took away all the, the big production, you would still you you have the music. So, and that's what ACDC always starts with first. And, Anything else we get is a, is a bonus, you know, you know if we get a... The, the bell, the uh, yeah. Right. And yeah. Stuff. Mm -hmm. That's pretty amazing, the show is pretty, mm -hmm. pretty amazing. Vamos a seguir viendo videos de ACDC y solamente les digo quédense porque todavía nos queda mucho ver entre elegir nuevos videos que no hayamos rotado en Headbangers y entre seguir conversando con Angus and Brian. Yes. who know 
ACDC and, and see it. It's a, it's a bit, it's a bit humour, but it, we, we thought it was a good way to start. Yeah, it's fun, yeah. But, okay. you know, and, uh, and it gives a good an, an, uh, anticipating something What did you feel the special. first time when you saw Vives and Barhead? Because I felt when I was in one mm -hmm. of your shows like Vives or Barhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you yeah. Barhead banging yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, rock. Yeah. And uh, what did you feel when... Uh, when you saw Beavis with the ACDC shirt yeah. and the Metallica shirt, it was I, I, I laughed. I, I thought it was fun. You know? And uh, I know a lot of uh, even young, young, you know, young, young okay. kids when they when when they see it, but they they find it funny. Yeah. Considering, <laughs> considering that one of the strongest points in ACDC's shows, I mean, the strongest point of ACDC is always the live show. Mm -hmm. Why you just haven't really? Uh, why you just have released two live albums? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want blood. But, yeah. And, uh, ACDC like, why just uh, too many good lists? Yeah, no, we just, uh, I think at the time, um, uh, we, we've always been a band that, uh, I'll, we've never tried to be another, you know, a lot of bands would, would say, well, I'll release this live and release this, and we, we, we've always been a band when, we, we, when we've said, well, this is when we'll do it, and, uh, Especially at the time that we we did do it, we we had had the if you want blood with Bond singing and with Brian, and we wanted to give it a lot of space because yeah, so people could see well, this is Brian. You know. Brian, we want to watch your version mm -hmm. of the Dirty Days on Dirt Cheap. Where does the video take place? It's uh, Moscow. It's uh, I think yeah, the, yeah, yes, I think Moscow. it's the Moscow one. Yes, that's right because it was split. Yeah, in Moscow. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was good. Yeah, it was big. Ah, bueno. <risa> ok, vamos a ver entonces con ACDC en vivo la versión de Brian cantando una antigua canción del álbum Dirty Dead Thunder Chip. Es esa canción, se tiene la en vivo, ACDC. Uh -huh. Hey chicos, estamos de vuelta en Headbangers junto a ACDC, junto a Angus y Brian para saber tantas cosas acerca de Ball Breaker, aunque queremos, o queremos hablar del pasado, no podemos dejar de hablar de Ball Breaker. Es el nuevo álbum Ball Breaker y es el primer one, es el primer one que ha sido producido por un hombre que produce Black Rose, Tom Petty, Slayer. ¿Qué did you find en Rick Rubin that you liked? Oh, well, he was uh, always a very big fan of ACDC and. Uh... He, when he first, I had first met him, I think when he originally was doing like rap music. Okay, the Beastie Boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd met him then, and then he, he was telling me, I, I just take your music and I put it with a, a rap beat. <laughs> so, um, so uh, he was a big fan, he, and he said, um, you know, he grew up, and I think... He, he told me once when he was in high school, he, he said, uh, you know, when he had ACDC albums under his arm and a friend had a Led Zeppelin album and his friend said, what, what, do, you, what do you like about ACDC so, so much? He said, well, he said, one ACDC album is worth three Led Zeppelin albums. <laughs> <laughs> he was all right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, while you were in the studio recording Ball Breaker, what um what did you try to to achieve in terms of sound? The perfect balance between, for instance, Freak of the Switch in the 80s and uh, Back in Black, more produced things. Well, or more probably more less. We tried to make it more as possibly as much live in a but in a studio environment as possible. Uh, and uh, try to uh, take it back to the. I suppose the days of, um, like, uh, there used to be very famous uh, blues records from Chess, and we, that's what we, we went for, and they would just, it's mainly where they put the microphones, and, rather than rely on high-tech imagery. Um, and so, Rick Rubin was the ideal choice. Would you like to work again for a, for a new album, or the, the time will itself? Time, yeah. Yeah, we always, when we, when we go to do a record, you know, we always like to to, to uh, see what you know, who's out there and and, and and what new comes along. So. En este tremendo especial de ACDC vamos a ver otra canción que no la habíamos estrenado en nuestros Headbangers, una canción que ya tiene años y se llama Junto a Angus y Brian. Are you ready?
Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, for us though, what what is mainly is what's inside the music. You know? But you know, but I mean, if they make something, you know, something good. Brian, this question is for you. Is considering that uh, now in 1996 you've been the singer of ACDC longer mm -hmm. now than Bon Scott. You've been like playing so many years with ACDC. Do you feel that there's some ACDC for the 70s because of Bon, or maybe because of just sign of the times, and ACDC for the 80s and the 90s? Uh, no, I think it was it's the one in the same. You know. Um, I've been in the band longer than Bond was, but I certainly, uh, I think that Bond made uh, a huge impression <laughs> because he was there at the start and made and helped to make those five individuals into ACDC. Do you know and what I mean? And he grows, but I mean, it's like it just grows. But even with, from, even from Back on Black in Brian, as I said, he's been there longer. Just, it, it, he, he he grows too. It just keeps growing. Yeah, yeah. You just grow with it, I guess. No. Brian, would you believe me? There's so many beliefs. He screams of mean thunder. <laughs> <laughs> so many beliefs in Latin America, in Chile and Argentina, I heard the same story, that you were the bus driver of the ACDC crew by the times of the Highway to Hell. No, I didn't get that job. That's <laughs> <laughs> why. No, you were doing Jordy that time. Yeah, I was in Jordy. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I think they get mixed up with a story about Bond when Bond drove the boys once mm. okay. in Australia. I think that's where the mix-up occurred and uh, Bond was sitting with the boys driving and he said to them, why don't you get rid of the singer you got? I'm a better singer than him. <laughs> and the guy said, oh, he's a cocky guy, but we'll give him a try. And he went in and he was good. And he said, you've got the job. <laughs> you know, okay. I mean, for want of a longer story. But, okay, now that all Latin American audience know yeah, the truth about yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Vamos a ver con ACDC en vivo, esto es un clásico de 1979, Highway to Hell. A few minutes ago we were talking about like the difference between ACDC. There's no difference between ACDC in the 70s or the 80s, but there was a phenomena. You were platinum sellers, huge sellers, before the phenomena of MTV and the music videos. So, in the good way or bad way, in which way it affect MTV and the music videos, the whole development of the music industry and the new bands? Yeah, I think uh, the, when we started, uh, you'd done a lot of touring, a lot of really a lot of touring and uh, I think for maybe new bands they, they can get more uh, possibly through, through, the, through the medium of the you know like the, the MTV they can see people can see more you know. I mean you can see for the first time if there's a new band from from you know Africa or, or from you know Denmark or something you know? and uh, you know you get they get to a to to a, a worldwide audience very quickly but with us it was we had to start through playing in you know from small to, and you work your way up a lot of uh, road road work we still do a lot of uh, live touring and, and, and road work and uh, but it's good to have both I think yeah. it's good because for the new it's good for the for, for people to see things new and it, it's also good for uh, in the case of us you know they get to see something that was was doing it uh, before before this uh, yeah. times are changing that's a fact and yeah. it's one of the sign of the times the music mm -hmm. video the new area of the uh, music industry but um, yeah. what do you think about like bands that started in the 80s when you were huge already you were huge in the 80s like bands that now are like even classics like Metallica do you think it's rock and roll taken to another level uh, I don't know if I think of it in those terms you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah I just think that the, I mean if you get to, if you get a uh, music you know like you know, like when we were playing you know I think a lot of people who saw us in the first time if, uh, and, and, and saw saw what we were doing they they said well maybe we can do this you know? okay. so it's, it's good in some ways that you get 
newer people coming along and going, well, I'll take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and, and they put it together. And, and some of them are good at it, and some of them, you know, not so good. <laughs> <laughs> ok, vamos a hacer una pausa, pero al regreso una canción de Fly on the Wall que les estábamos debiendo, Sink the Pink, y también el clásico, Black in Black. Así que quédense, después de la pausa entre Bangers y seguiremos con Angus. about the truth, about the fact that you, you said it. ACDC has been doing the same album 13 times because it's just like it's blues, it's the same chords. Yeah. Did you feel Paul Breaker the same way? Uh, yeah, I think it's, we always look at it, we've never changed, you know, from, from the start, we've never changed. And when you buy a new record, you're really buying uh, ACDC, it's not the, the, the sound that's changing. Hopefully you write songs. Okay. You know, that's what we, we try to do. We try to make each record better in our songwriting, you know, but the, but the style is always the same. ACDC always, you know, when we make a record, we want... Yeah, you want the rhythm, you know, you, and, and the, you know, your, your toes and your feet, your tap. You know, we saw the interview of you guys in Memphis. Memphis is such like a magic city, the blues, <laughs> America. Which kind of music are you listening to while you're on the road? So, yeah. Well, a lot of blues, blues are in the bus. Chest rifles. Yeah, yeah. 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 And we, we were always, we, we grew up on this, this music, you know, and this was our, our uh, music. Uh, whereas I know when I was younger, a lot of people were more listening to uh, the, you know, the pop music, okay. you know? and uh, I like more the you know the the, the blues thing, you know? okay. and that for me is prob probably the same as what a lot of people look at, um, you know, the, the, like the, the you know the head banging music. Okay. You know? <laughs> Very, very short. Did you, didn't you ever felt the, the need to experiment a little bit, maybe to take you see this sound to another level? Well, we do this so well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, if it ain't broke, <laughs> where are you fix it? Yes, right, yeah. Perfect. Seguimos con ACDC, vamos a ver ahora Thunderstruck. Un par de videos, especialmente dedicado a ACDC. Have you ever... This is a pretty tough question. Have you ever considered the possibility of stopping or you want to go as timeless as far as the Rolling Stones? Um, well, we, I just suppose we never think of it, do we? we I've always, never, never thought about it. Yeah. Never entered any conversation yeah. that we've had, you know. Yeah. Nobody's ever brought it up. We're not as ugly as the Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we don't have backing singers behind that, you know, so it's, I guess it's going to be... Yeah, we enjoy it, you know, yeah. enjoy what you're doing. And now, so the tourists, uh, maybe they're going to be a new album, you're thinking about new songs already on the tour, like Waves. Yeah, well, we always, you know, you keep thinking ahead, you know, about what you, what you, what you will do. And uh, it, it never really stops. Even when we when we finish touring, you you always have a lot of ideas and, and material. How's the process of uh, songwriting comes in uh, ACDC? Uh, first, the riffs, Malcolm and you, or the lyrics, or uh, how it's all put together? Was Wall Breaker any different? Yeah, there's, there's no. We don't. That's one thing we know. We don't rely on what we've done in the past, or and there's no set formula. But you know, sometimes you might do, just have a good tune that you you played on, you know, an acoustic at home, or other times you might have just a good uh, singing, you know, a good lyric that you might think, oh, this, this is good, uh, and you might. Then other times you might have a good guitar riff, and you go. I'd love to get this in a, a song somewhere, and sometimes you're lucky, you might, it might fit in a new song, and then maybe not, and then two years later you go, oh, I've got a good idea, yeah. this riff I had two years ago, this is a great riff, maybe it'll work with this song. Yeah. So some, 
sometimes it's it's uh, it's not a case of uh, you know you can sit and go well this is uh, you know verse one and chorus yeah, here yeah, and guitar yeah. solo yeah. here we 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 like to uh, juggle it about and when, even when we have a song it's not finished until the last is it no, in the studio the last word. Yeah. I mean when we we make a record you know even up to the last minute we still. No. You, you might change something. And do you consider yourself as a version for the for the 90s of Chuck Berry and Little Richard? Uh, if I had uh, a little a fingernail of their talent, I, I would think. Uh, okay. Yeah. But um, hey, for us, ACDC is it's not me, it's not Brian, it's it's the band. Okay. You know? uh, Well, we're like a little, little football team. Okay, vamos a ver otro video del álbum Flick of the Switch y la canción del mismo nombre y ya nos vamos despidiendo. Hey, five aside. Five aside. Five aside. Okay, es el momento de despedida del bye bye. Thank you very much, That's Brian. It's a pleasure. Andrews. Last Thank question. You, Alfred. Plans to go to Latin America, Venezuela, Colombia, Argentina, Chile. Not yet. With nothing con confirmed. Yeah. That if, if uh, I mean, we got here now, so. High hopes. High hopes. Our fingers crossed yeah. for us. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, we said. Real, real pressure. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you, MTV. No saben cómo está lloviendo aquí en Ciudad de México. It's raining. It's so very raining. Así que nos despedimos y nos vemos la próxima semana. Bye. Bye.